What's up, it's Neem Williams, and today I'm making this video to go over board shape and size. Recently, I'm working on a new shape. I'm gonna show you my old shape first. This is my old shape. It's a B16 8.475. I believe it's like 31, 31 and a half long or something, so. 31 and a half inches long by eight inches, four, seven, five, a little bit under 8.5. So this is the board. I grew up skating for the past few years for Deathwish Skateboards. I've skated the same shape forever. I also have another board. I have a tech board, which is like an eight inch with little trucks and all that. That's for like flip in, flip outs and all that. I just feel like it helps better. So my preference is a really mellow kick of the nose and a mellow kick of the tail. Really little to no concave. That's just how I like it, you know? Um, I'm not really popping over mini tables and stuff. I can if I want to, but I mostly like jumping down stairs, getting on rails, skating flat ground, all that fun stuff, ledges, all that. So, you know, a nice flat board gives me more control. And, um, you know, my tricks are more consistent on a flat board for me. Some people like steep boards, they feel like they have more pop and they're more consistent with that. For me, that's not the case. For a steep board, like a steep nose, I'll do a nolly flip and it'll just go rocket like that. Or a kick flip and it'll just rocket and almost sack me every time. So yeah, this is the board. I've been skating forever, 8475. It's called a B16. I believe they sell these in the stores nowadays or Baker and Deathwish. Um, 8475 B16. This is a good board. I've skated it for over 10 years. It's my favorite shape. So recently, I kind of wanted to change things up a little bit. I wanted to steer away from my old school like flat board this board kind of has like a pointed nose kind of a point to the tail as well if you can see that it's kind of pointy and uh, I kind of wanted to change it up and have more of a rounder nose a little bit longer board like this and wider for um, you know this area right here so I'm gonna show you my new deck right here so this is my new custom shape right here. It has more of a full, almost popsicle kind of nose. Not as sharp, the other one was like pointy. This one's more round, so there's more room to pop off of. It's also the same mold, so it's still really, really flat. Like the nose and the tail don't really pop up much. They're kind of nice and chill so I'm not going to be rocketing around the place flying to the moon um, the tail is also nice and full it's not sharp like the other one let me show you you see the difference it's very slight but the tail is not as sharp it's a little bit more full this board is also 32 inches solid long and it's a solid 8.5 wide so we're working with solid numbers here this board right here this new custom shape that I'm riding I love like every trick feels amazing every trick is consistent and you know it's been my favorite shape it's still mellow concave little to none more length more width and you know it's actually I don't know if it's because I've been skating that other shape for so long, but this board has actually been my favorite board to ride so far. And I don't know, it might just be this change is nice sometimes, you know? So yeah, this is my new custom shape. I don't know if they're ever gonna sell them to the public, but that would be dope. I mean, if you ever see me on the street and I have an extra on me, you could always ask me for one or Maybe I have a used one that's not so beat up and you can skate that. 
if you want down in the comments you can write what size board you like to ride and why you like that if i have some time i'll go down there read the comments check it out and maybe i'll hit you back and you know we could talk about board shapes all day thanks again for watching this is just a random little video i felt like putting out there and you know i want to hear from you and i want to hear what kind of board you like to skate and why